So hello and welcome to another class of AB Mirror Science, this is Abhishek with you. So today I'll be talking about the evasion mechanisms of bacterial pathogens against the host defenses. So last day I told you about the viral mechanisms against the uh, host defenses. Today I'll be talking about the bacterial mechanisms. So first I'll go for the each and every section, then I'll give you the particular examples that help you to understand the evasion mechanisms. So let's start. So first one is deactivation of complement system. So we know that the blood or the serums containing uh, the complement proteins which help in clearing of the pathogens from the uh, blood or the serum because they can uh, help the immune system in opsonization as well as the recognition and the neutralization process. But some bacteria has a mechanism to evade this complement activation. Caucus SP. So these bacteria, not all species, but there are some species which produces a protease which can break, which can lyse the C5A protein of the complement cascade. So C5A is a very important protein in the complement system but that is broken down by some kind of proteases secreted by the species of Staphylococcus. So that's why the complement fixation or the membrane attack complex never forms. So that's why this is the mechanism to evasion of this particular bacteria. I'll give you another example that is in the same case that is Neisseria gonorrhea. Okay, no, I'm not writing the total name. So Neisseria gonorrhea, uh, the, this bacteria is very dangerous in causing their pathogenicity mechanisms inside the host. So actually, they can form a serum resistance. What is called? Is called serum. Resistance. Serum resistance means the complement proteins which are present in the serum may never form the membrane attack complex. Means they are immune to the membrane attack complex formation. So they have kind of resistance to this complement cascade. That's why it is called a serum resistance because this cascade may never form in the presence of this bacteria. So actually they have a coating or the uh, capsule-like structure over there around their body which is helping them against the complement fixation. So that's why, but some of the species of Neisseria are not serum resistant. So they remain in genital systems and others which are forming the serum resistance are present in your body. So this is the first step of bacterial evasion mechanism. Not all bacteria is evading all the pathways or all the things but there are bacteria which have several capabilities to evade the host defense. Now, the next one is, we know that uh, the immune system have APC cells which has a large role in clearing the pathogens from the body because they not only clearance, they also activate the adaptive immune response as well as with the help of non-specific immune response. So there are bacteria which are or which have the mechanism to avoid the phagocytosis. How? So some of the bacteria like uh, Streptococcus pneumoniae, 
new money. Cryptococcus, uh, sorry, Haemophilus influenzae. I'm not writing the full name actually, it is killing time. Haemophilus influenzae. Staphylo, some of the species of Staphylo. They actually produce some kind of mucin or mucoid substance. Substances around the cell wall. So these mucoid substances are helping the bacteria in uh, or uh, from the attachment of the phagocytic cells or the APC cells. So the APC cells needs to first attach the bacteria. Then only it can engulf the bacteria. So here, this mucoid substance actually resisting the phagocytosis adherence so they are cleared of this phagocytosis mechanism because the phagocytosis cells cannot attach to the bacteria and there is no uh, that further processes another bacteria is pyogenes this species produces m proteins These are also cell surface proteins, M proteins, which actually avoiding the adherence or uh, clearing the adherence of the hepatitis cells from this bacteria. So there is no adherence, no attachment, no contact, and no phagocytosis. So this is kind of a phagocytosis inhibition mechanism which are present in these bacteria. Some of the species of uh, Staphylococcus. Some of the species of Staphylococcus produces leucosidins. Leucosidins are those substances which kill the phagocytes before it can phagocytes. So the process is they secrete these leucosidins, they just attach to the uh, phagocytic cells and they destroy the cells. So phagocytes may never happen. And these bacteria are safe. This is very interesting mechanism of pathogens, bacterial pathogens, which actually reside within the phagocytosis. So you can understand the large population of our defense mechanism is these phagocytic cells, and they are just residing within them, and they are transferring themselves from one cell to another cell without being exposed to the other immune system. Uh, cells of the proteins. So it is a very interesting mechanism which can be seen in case of Listeria. SP, Listeria, SP, Mycobacterium, SP, Chlamydia. So how they are doing this? They actually, when uh, these bacteria are generally first phagocytosed, okay, that uh, phagosome which is prepared inside the uh, APC cell, that phagosome will be lysed by the bacteria and it will be exposed to the cytoplasm. Now that cytoplasm, when they are going to the cytoplasm, they will activate actin-based movements. These actin-based movements or cytoskeleton proteins will help them to reach to the cell surface where it will create a protrusions containing the bacteria. Now whenever the cell is another cell is coming attached to the uh, protrusions it will just engulf it and a same mechanism of phagocytosis like endocytic pathway will follow and again it will lyse the phagosome and again it will go to the cytoplasm activate the actin based uh, actin based tail mechanisms and it will reach to the surface and form the protrusions. So these protrusions will look like something like this. Suppose this is a phagosome inside this. These are the bacteria. The next step, the bacteria are lysed, and then these bacteria are then 
sent to the cell surface where in the next step it will be clear so it is lysed bacteria are all over there they have activated the cytoskeletal proteins and movement acting based telling and here they will create some kind of protrusions which contain the bacteria and these protrusions will be engulfed by the similar cells healthy cells which will be engulfed by these ones and again a cytosome will create again it will be lysed and again some kind of protrusions will form and like this it is continuing so it is a very important aspect of their defense mechanism in case of mycobacteria they have a waxy consistency you heard that mycolic acid is present in their cell wall which is resisting themselves means uh, phagocytosis or the phagosome or the lysosome is uh, unreachable to them and they are prohibiting that method so in case of chlamydia what happened they just stop the fusion of phagosome with lysosome so the degradation of their uh, remaining of body or the pathogen body never happens now the last one is defense against adaptive immune system So defense against the adaptive immune system, you can uh, just imagine by the name that it is acting against the antibodies mainly and it is deactivating the antibodies, but how? So again, I will tell you the story about the Neisseria, SP, which is a very active role in this case, they can cheat the adaptive immune system but how actually Nisseria can show phase variation remember I told you if I you have seen my viral uh, uh, viral defense mechanism against about uh, host defenses then you will see that antigenic drift I have told you there they can change the composition of their proteins same thing in case of not the totally same thing but there is a similarity between the phase variation where actually the peeling proteins you know the bacteria of peelings peelies the peeling proteins are changed bacteria have the peely it is composed of proteins now it can change the composition of peeling proteins. So if you change the composition like the amino acids, it will change the conformation of the protein. So the, the change will uh, form in the epitopes. The ep Another mechanism of this same bacteria that is also very interesting. Suppose this is A, then this is the B. They produce some kind of proteases which kills or destroys IgA antibodies so they can directly deactivate or degrade by the proteases secreted by them IgA you know the major secretory antibody is the IgA so they can deactivate this mechanism also so you can see here that this bacteria particularly is directly influencing the adaptive immune system by changing either by phase variation or by producing proteases. So these are the crucial mechanisms used by the bacteria, several bacteria, uh, to achieve the defense mechanism of the host. So I hope you are clear. If you have some doubt, uh, please ask me in the comment section.
So if you like my classes, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel because these things stimulate me to take futuristic classes for you guys. So thank you and be with me.